the only reason to, that we care about the center of the lens, Andy, is, is that, you know, it just tends to steer the beam if it's not going to the center of the lens. Yeah. It's not a disaster, but okay, that looks okay, and then beam yeah. splitter. I came into Williams with the sense of adventure necessary to kind of reach out and pursue these different things, and Williams gave me every opportunity, every chance to kind of reach out and say, hey, I want to do that, hey, I want to try that. And so I was able to try, you know, marine ecology, I was able to try physiology, I was able to try medicine. For me, in the end, the thing that really made me decide to become a scientist was an undergraduate research experience. Williams offers something very special, and the teaching part and the research part come together here in the lab in a way that's that's unusual. Right now, I don't think I'm ready to uh, to be done learning physics, and that's the main push to doing this uh, thesis research with Professor Majumder. The principal opportunity is is the summer when the college. I think in its wisdom has decided to invest a, a lot of resources into a very active program where there are nearly 200 students in the sciences alone every summer here doing research. Increasingly, it's not just sciences. I'm writing a food history of Williams and how Williams sourced its food, the dining halls, how students ate. The research in, uh, that I'm working on at Professor Majumder's lab deals with laser spectroscopy and so the main idea is we're shining a laser beam through atoms and trying to see how they respond. This summer, Andy will be completing a project that was started by this year's thesis student, collecting the data, analyzing it, and hopefully getting to the point where we're writing up the project for publication before he graduates and heads off to graduate school. And I've had um, roughly 20 students who have done one of these year-long honors thesis projects in my time at Williams, and this is much more the model of what goes on in a graduate institution where you have graduate students doing this kind of work. The only difference is, in this case, these are undergraduates. What would that, why would that be so Because of the cell, I think. I mean, I don't think it's that ugly if you hold it over here. Just uh, There's no way I would have accomplished what I accomplished here without the aid of many, many students. Just about every one of them is either a PhD scientist now or in a program on their way to a PhD. We send lots of students to a place like MIT or Harvard for PhDs, and I think having the liberal arts college background for four years where you can study broadly, but at the same time have these really unique opportunities is a great way to prepare students. Professor Majumder likes to say that one of his goals with his thesis students is to prepare them in such a way that when they walk into any lab really in the country, that on the very first day they could be a productive part of that research group. Here's a 0.1 molar phosphate buffer at some pH 7.6. And I just had the... No, I think that's gonna work. So we really have a group um, feeling, and that, you know, science gets done best, I think, in that way. It's about being comfortable enough to voice an idea. This whole research experience has been good for me in a lot of ways. It's a huge confidence boost, uh, especially as I look forward to, towards graduate school. After Williams, I came to New York City, and here I'm working at New York Presbyterian in the emergency room. I think my research at Williams, or at least the flexibility that I had to kind of dabble in a bunch of different things, gave me the confidence to jump into a new situation that I might have the potential to really love and say, hey, let's give it a shot. So I came here, and I immediately fell in love with it. I love medicine. I love my patients. I love the ED. What I think a place like Williams does really well, in not just through our science and physics courses, but in everything, is it really sharpens their intellect in the sense that they're problem solvers, they're thinkers, and they have a sense of confidence about being able to solve problems. And doing physics, just like so many things, um, successfully is not about solving a problem that you've already seen before. Life is about, and doing academic science, is about solving problems that you've never seen before. So it's about learning the tools that will allow you to solve the next problem that you've not seen before. And I think that's something that we do particularly well at Williams. And I think over and over again, we've seen students who have grown into that kind of a scientist.